It's a little cold and rainy today and this is probably the last weekend that I'm going to be driving the car at all for 2017 because there's definitely going to be some snow coming eventually and when there's snow it means they're going to salt the roads and when they salt the roads anything that you want to keep nice basically in the Midwest goes into storage because the salt will destroy anything especially a thin sheet metal old Datsun would probably just be a little pile of rust by springtime if I ever drove it in the salt. So on this rainy day what I'm gonna do is convert these LQ9 or LS uh, truck coil packs to a coil on plug setup and eliminate these plug wires. Since the last video I've actually installed a digital fuel pressure gauge inside the car so I can monitor monitor my fuel pressure and it's a little bit high but it always has been around like I think it idles right around 53 psi or something like that So what I have ordered here to do this conversion is a CX Racing uh, LQ9 coil pack mount for a coil on plug. You can find this on eBay. I'll add the link. Um, you can find it probably on their website too. I'll, I'll dig it up on the internet and give you guys a link in the video description. And I haven't opened it up yet obviously other than the package that came in the mail. Some mounting hardware, get these long stud bolt things, and some spacers, which I'm assuming just get the coil packs at the proper height. And then I also ordered some Supra, Toyota Supra ignition coil boots. And this is basically bridges the gap between the coil pack and the spark plug. So the coil pack will sit on top, this will mount onto the spark plug, and supposedly as simple as that. My harness for the coil packs is from Wiring Specialties, and I think that's about $130. There is a way to wire them up yourself, of course, and there's some info on that in some of the forums. And I'm just not a huge wiring guru, so for me it was easier to just spend the money and buy the conversion harness rather than try to make it myself and go through the trial and error and it just looked pretty neat and clean and tidy so I was happy with it. So that's what I'm using as far as wiring goes. Okay, these boots are for a Mark IV Supra so like a 93 to 98 in case anyone is wondering. these spark plug boots for the Supra and mine did not come with the contact springs which would be something like a spring that would be like this which would allow a good contact between the coil and the spark plug through the boot and the little spring would give it something extra to hang on to. This little spring that I got came out of one of my old um, boots that came off of my BMW when I replaced the coil packs on that in the video where my BMW was giving me problems. Now these have a spring inside them. It's not exactly the correct spring, but um, I'm gonna try it for now. And there's a website that I'm gonna try to order the correct springs from. I believe it's called Mojo Performance. It looks like they're about $25. I just want to have this done today so I can try it and see if it works rather than wait a week for shipping because now with winter coming I just want to get this done and try it and see if it makes any difference. Um, so for now I'm going to tear apart these boots. I've just been cutting the rubber open on them and breaking them apart and pulling the spring out 
and I'll put them on these LS coils. Told my boss that I'm done Had no luck with my mom Say what will you do with your life? You know it's hard to survive A cigar in my mouth Maybe guilty but proud Now I'm an outlaw on the run Dangerous but it's so fun Running, running the usual it just can't be too simple this wiring specialty loom for the coil packs is too short it's always been a little on the short side but it's too short to allow the wires to actually reach the coil packs with them all laid down in to the head like that um, all of them fit except for that very back one because of the way that it has to reach around and the only way to get them all to line up and plug in is to make it so that it doesn't connect it's like maybe like four or five inches too short and they specifically say to not modify your harness from wiring specialty but there's no other way I can really go about this besides cutting holes in my firewall and completely redoing my wiring harness the way I ran it. So I think what I'm going to do is take these, it looks like one, two, three, four, it's like about eight wires and cut each one of them and solder like a, I don't know, four or five inch piece into the wire in the middle just to extend it. Try to get some that are similar in color or whatever, it doesn't really matter too much. I just added like a six inch piece of wire in between them all just to extend the loom and now it can fit back around the back of the engine and they're all plugged in. I'm just gonna do a first startup attempt. Um, everything's plugged in after the little coil pack harness was extended um, all the coils are now coil on plug with the boot from the mark IV supra and i'm just currently using the ignition coil connecting springs from some old cut up bmw 3 series coil packs is the 
coil-on plug conversion for the LQ9 coil packs. I started to paint up my stock cover. I took the beat up old uh, emblem off and I'm gonna try to find some sort of replacement for that. I've just got one, well, like two light coats on it for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everybody who subscribes and supports the channel. I did create a website. I'll put the link in the description. It's just kind of a little trial thing. Um, it's not anything official yet, but um, I'm trying to start possibly a new venture with the channel and kind of using that to build a sort of brand, so to speak. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, check out the link in the description. Like I said, it's really simple. It's just kind of a pre-run thing. There's not really much there yet, but um, if you want, check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.